Hello to you. Yes, I have Jessie out. Jessie is my jungle carpet python who is five, six years old. I've often said to you all, and please forgive me for not exactly knowing their age, uh, roughly that five, I would say that Jessie is now. Um, at this particular point uh, he just shed as you will see in his uh, well of course in his in uh, enclosure I, though I yeah without destroying this shed which I pretty much have right there in the middle as you'll see I put a rip in it but I didn't mean to but this is uh, Jessie's uh, shed, which, yeah, I'm trying to, to ask him very nicely, can I please get that shed out for you? But it doesn't always work that way. And I swear, they don't like to part with it either. They have had snakes actually physically come out and want to and the camera's on and Jess you cannot go up there because you are not exactly the best snake for climbing up there so he's I'm uh, there is no way I'm going to be able to limit Jesse to this particular tree because carpet pythons are pretty insistent on wanting to go up they they love up now I will s say that is really how I found my carpets to rest that is totally where they like to rest is up high not on the ground and I do have carpets in higher enclosures and and not so high enclosures. Now, Amaya, she likes to occasionally, and she's a Darwin, to spend mm, so many. I do have, I do have Amaya who does like to go in a hide and spend some of the time in a hide, but she does also like to be up in a hammock. Jessie, I really do not want to let you go up there because that means I have to climb up and actually physically get you down. And right now, physically, that is not really good for me. Um, so, unfortunately, I do have to and this, my friends, will be an absolute battle um, to keep Jesse here. Low. Low is more the point. It's, it's, it's not their thing. I will open his enclosure. That's my hand, which you know it is, so I don't have a, a problem with that sort of thing. Um, my snakes are pretty quick. Carpets and Teresia, which either of them are pretty quick to identify that this is actually my hand and not, not a feeder for them in any way, shape or form. So they're not dumb in terms of making a mistake that a human hand is an actual rat. They are pretty quick and smart to know the difference. And I guess that's what I truly love about my carpets. The one thing, 
and you know you might say but you know that's what carpets are and that's what makes carpets what carpets are is they're active they're full-on they love to climb and they love to explore and you're 110 percent correct that is exactly what they are but sometimes I honestly wish they're a little bit less active it would be and Jesse is not going to understand why I'm why why it's a no at this particular point he's he's not going to to see why why am I saying no why am I not letting him go somewhere but I tell you the only one that I do not have that grace with in terms of inhibiting what they want to do and so forth is is my Tessa my Bradley she is the only one that would get and I'm sorry I'm blocking light here um no 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 um get pretty upset with me and she would she would give me a nip to say leave me alone but she does not give me a nip to to harm hurt hurt me and she could being being a Bradley she she's a big girl and she could but uh she doesn't and she has given me a nip to let me know you are really starting to annoy me and that is you know when i'm asking her to come down when i want it to come down now i have no issue in jesse being out and and going up high you could say my problem today is being able to actually physically get jesse down when i do want him to come down so i'm i'm going to what you know it's a what for me what do i do how do i support how do i support them to continue to do all those beautiful wonderful things that i've I've created for them to do. Lily, I have no option in her coming out. There isn't a problem with Lily coming out because she comes down without too major an issue. No, it's not that it's, there's not some effort involved from me, but she does all the work. Jessie is the opposite. Tessa is the opposite. My little one's too easy, way too easy no problem with them but the jesse and the tessa is where i'm i'm beginning to get stuck with i'm beginning to feel it um in terms of even holding a camera um and my shoulders and my arms not hurting in the process and you know my camera is not what i would call physically heavy uh, but there is a little bit of weight to it and I'm constantly swapping hands. I can't keep the camera still because, you know, my arms start to hurt, you could say. And as I said, I'm not here on here to give you my woes, but carpet pythons are not a ball python. They are not a boa. They're, they're you know, a colubrid um, behavior to some degree um, very active and curious and and not as fast definitely not as fast and they are more up along the lines of a retic which I have mentioned and some get rather big I mean Jesse um, is not what I can you know if you go up if you go up onto that thing, you have major difficulty balancing yourself, don't you? Because you're a big boy, you're not a little thing that can just easily climb over that. Uh, you know, and some do get quite big. Jesse is not what I consider to be a little boy either. 
He's quite weighty. He's extremely muscular. Uh, way more. Right now, uh, Lily has no muscle on her at all. And yet, she's the one that's out and climbs regularly and does things. But Lily is 10 years old. And that, I went back and back and back and searched. And yes, Lily is um, 10 years old. And I've even got a brick on this to weight it. And it would topple, you could say. So I better hang on because all of his weight is, I'll put a foot on it, is all over that side. And Sonny's well aware that I'm doing a video as you can hear. So if you're going and ever thinking about getting a carpet python, they want out, if you've given it, you've allowed it, that is what they want. And that is what they'll do. And now he's going over. He's like, I'm giving up on this thing because mum isn't really letting me go anywhere. Um, now I have to sneak around it under this uh, space to make sure that he, and we've, of course, you know, we're in the darker area. I'm just hoping, hoping, yeah, no such word in the, that English language you could say that he doesn't topple that over so I'll switch these lights on as fast as I possibly can are you going to go over and see if you can fit under this enclosure well it's another boy in there there's no girl in there for you to enjoy other words that I would use with, with my snakes enjoy a woman around uh, but, yeah, you can see them all stretched out there. You want to active, curious, you name it, snake, full of energy, very muscular, very, very muscular. And I know a lot are, but carpet, carpet, I'm going to mumble my words, carpet pythons are very much so. So anyway, I'm going to quit here before my arm drops off, you could say. And before Jessie gets too far and how do I use my left hand um, or left arm, which back this way, dude. I get, I would, you could go upwards um, onto an enclosure, but I, I don't want you going down the back of anything, dude, because... I just won't be able to get you. But he's gonna climb up. I don't mind if he goes over this way. I, but I know he's going to go over this way because this is the way that he's familiar with and he knows. <laughs> That's what it's about. But I am going to say goodbye to you. Take care. I'll chat again soon so I can keep up with this boy. Ciao.